Now to that midair scare overnight, a United plane heading for Houston, diverting to Dallas when the screens in the cockpit went blank. Passengers hearing this announcement on board. I can maybe be able to see we lost two of our screens. Now, if we kept flying, we lose them all eventually because there's not enough cooling. There's tremendous heat behind those screens. Well, because if we had continued, eventually I'd be flying blind. So that's why we're in Dallas right now. And definitely something no one wants to hear. Let's go to ABC's David Curley at Reagan National Airport with the latest. Good morning, David. Morning, Michael. I've been in a cockpit of a small aircraft when this happens. It is very disconcerting. This is a glass cockpit. That means that the computer screens basically give all the flight information. That goes down. They do have backup instruments, but it's very basic. It's attitude and speed. They don't want to fly like that. They want all that data. That's why this pilot said, listen, I don't want to fly blind. I'm going to put it down with what I've got here, get you on another plane, and get you to Houston from Dallas on another aircraft. So that's what United did. Very smart decision on his part. And David, there are new developments in that Boeing crash. We've seen the Ethiopian authorities report and now Boeing CEO is speaking out as well. He is and he's actually making an acknowledgement that the two deadly crashes are linked to that anti-stall system. Think about this, Michael. Boeing said there was a procedure to deal with this. We know that this system kicked in on three different flights and only one successfully did it. Seven pilots involved in those three flights, only one knew what to do it. Boeing basically acknowledging that this is a complicated system, that software fix is coming to make it safer. But let's not forget, 350 people died yesterday. An American family sued Boeing, said, saying the second accident was no accident. Michael? All right, you're right about that, David. It's not about getting planes back in the air. It's about getting answers for those families who've lost loved ones. All right, thank you very much, David Curley. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.